Here's another way to graph a quadratic. Instead of using the parent function and the vertex, you can do intercept form, or what I like to call it sometimes is factored form. And I call it factored form because it is basically your polynomial factored. So you got your sets of parentheses where A is the same thing as before. A is greater than zero, it opens up. A is less than zero, it opens down. If the absolute value of A is bigger than one, it's narrow. If the absolute value of A is less than one or bigger than zero, then it is wide. Okay, but now P and Q stand for the two or possibly the same X intercept. Okay, so as an ordered pair, it'd be P comma zero and Q comma zero. All right, so it's all about recognizing what form it's in and how to differentiate between which method to go about in graphing. So this is an intercept form. So I'm just gonna look at P and Q. The minus is part of the formula, so P is three. So the minus is part of the formula. I gotta make that into minus a negative one. So Q is negative one. That's gonna tell me that it crosses the x-axis at three zero and at negative one zero. Okay, well, these things are symmetrical. So the vertex is in the middle, I shouldn't say vertex, the axis of symmetry is in the middle of your x-intercepts. So to find the middle, to find the axis of symmetry, I'll take three plus negative one and divide by two. If I take the average of those, I'm gonna get where they cross each other where my axis of symmetry is. So in this case, it's at one. If I want to find my vertex, I just found half of that. So I've got one comma some value of y. Now to find that y, I'll put in a one for x into the original equation. So two times negative two times a positive two, it gives me a negative eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So there's the vertex. Okay, now notice that A was a positive two. I knew the graph was gonna open up from the very get-go. So I need a vertex that's gonna fall below the x-axis. I've got my intercepts, okay, and be able to put these into order pair as well, as three zero and negative one zero. Oh, and by the way, if you were to solve this quadratic by factoring, your two solutions would have been three, x equals three and x equals negative one, they're the same thing. Okay. To get more points, I can do this. I'm still working with the same parabola as I did before. So zero, zero, one, one, two, and four. I just gotta make sure I multiply those all by that A value. So zero, two, and eight. And if I go from my vertex over one, up two, over two, up eight, I've got a better look at that parabola. Okay, so here we go again. Um, there is no second set of parentheses, but that's fine. That just means that this is my other set right there so one of my intercepts is zero and the other intercept is four okay uh, that was a two right there my a value is positive again it's gonna open up so I have to find my axis of symmetry by taking the middle of those Or you could count the blocks in the graph. So my vertex is two comma something. So I'll put two in for x. And what do you know? It ends up to be the same thing, negative eight, 
that's purely coincidence. So at two negative eight, there is my vertex and there is my graph. These can open down. Um, in fact, I'll add another one. So y equals negative uh, one half um, x minus one uh, x plus, I don't know, let's go five. So P and Q, P would be one, Q is equal to negative five. So there's one x-intercept, one, two, three, four, five. There would be a second x-intercept. Find the axis of symmetry. So one plus a negative five over two. So negative four over two, negative two. But you know it's the middle because there's what? One, two, three blocks. One, two, three blocks right there. To find the vertex, put in a negative two for x. So y equals negative one half, negative two minus one, negative two plus five. So negative three, three, and a negative one half. Now this is negative, so I know it's gonna open down. So I know my vertex has gotta be above the x-axis. So I take a negative times a negative. In fact, I'll do a negative nine times negative one half. That's a positive 4.5. So at negative two, I'd go up to 4.5. There's my vertex. There it opens down. And by the way, since it's one half, it's gonna be wider than your typical graph.